right, so we're back with another one. Back to back, right? Because I'm just still sitting here. But welcome back to Shades Tarot, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So we are about to talk about the... I know, I've been doing... I, look, I'm trying to save money for you guys. We're going to talk about a cheap, the cheapest way to build an altar. Altar on a budget. I finally built my first altar. Really, like, built, built. Because I had an altar before. Um, and I'm going to explain about that too to help you guys out. Um, so I finally got my altar built. Built. I cannot show you. And so this will kill me. Let's talk about altars first. We all know what altars are. Little people know. Little do people know that even in Christianity. Um, altars, you know, meet me at the altar and all that stuff. Same thing. This is my prayer room. Um, altars is for your ancestors or whoever else the divine or whoever you need to praise to to be able to communicate and receive exchanges and talk to them and you know all that good stuff that you do at the altar so build my altar for the first time let me tell you how this is go how this goes and how you can save money let's get started so building an altar do not get caught up in the hype of Everybody else's altar that you have seen that are live post areas. Do not get caught up in that light. Do not get caught up in um, how everyone altars look because everyone altar will not be the same. Um, everyone's altar will actually be different. Yeah, you will have inspiration, but when you really get down to making your altar like I did, it's not the same. It's beautiful though. My altar is beautiful. It's perfect. It's me and it's my ancestors. If it, both of us, they love it. When building an altar, now let's say let's start off with. You do not have a personal space to have an altar or the people in the home are not maybe comfortable with that or you think that would be too much. You know, whatever the case may be that you just cannot have an actual altar all set up and just, you know, boom, splash out and open. Well, not out and open. So, the first thing to do is you want an altar and can't actually make a full altar, buy a mobile altar. Yes, a mobile altar exists. Or you can build your own. Um, if you want to buy one and someone make one for you, um, you can get one from Coco Kitten Bruja. I hope I said her name right. I you know, Coco Kitten Bruja is where I got my mobile mobile altar from. Um, and if you have me on Instagram, you you know Shay's Tarot, or even on my Facebook, you've seen my altar. I've been actually not my altar, but my mobile altar. You have seen me post that. Um, plenty of times that was allowed to be posted um so um because i didn't have any pictures or anything up so um that mobile altar comes with a candle already installed and yes you can replace the candle dump it out some tea light candle and you also get um an incense with your mobile altar from coco kitten brew uh, from her for her store specifically that's what comes with it you get a place to be able to put your incense in tea light um candle already comes in there all that good stuff so it's all set up so you can do whatever you need to do, you know, make it your little thing. And that's a mobile altar for you. And you can take it anywhere. It's beautiful, great quality. Love it. Um, even made it all the way to me moving into my home. Now, if you don't want to buy a mobile altar for Coco Kitten Brew, huh? I would definitely recommend building one. That people said you can build one in a, in a shoebox. You really can. Um you would just have to make sure you can't get pillars i mean you probably could you just know you can't of course put the lid on the pillar so you'd lay them down all that good stuff but you can make an altar inside of a shoe box if you would like to uh, as well so that is the definite two ways to have an altar on hand if you would like and no one don't want anyone to know that you have an altar because we know how this goes and people think crazy when the altar is the same thing we see in the church and all that good stuff right now altar on a budget now when you want to actually even in your shoebox altar or even in your full altar i'll tell you what i did dollar tree <laughs> dollar general family dollar etsy magic planet cheap places we all know what they are and shoot maybe even roses i mean i love some roses i haven't looked at anything in there um so even roses too any discount stores you know um uh, like i said for all these things gonna tell you Remember to bless everything, cleanse and bless everything. Mobile altar, full altar, cleanse and bless everything. Because you know, you know, I want the factories and whoever was mad making something, you look, you ain't got time, or whoever was mad putting on the shelf the items that you need. We don't have time for that. So definitely bless and cleanse every single thing um on your altar before you put it up there and all that good stuff, right? The things that I got, if you really want to start a full altar, the things that I got now, I don't have a tablecloth yet right 
we have a curtain <laughs> a white curtain okay that we clearly probably not gonna use so uh so i have that with two trunks on it with two i have two trunks that i made into a table for now <laughs> and a white um curtain so that is what i'm using for now until i upgrade it um of course so um, the curtains you can buy just one curtain from like a dollar general or something like that in my opinion um if you don't have access to a tablecloth tablecloths are also family dollar all that good stuff i just didn't go i just didn't uh, to go do that until i get a real table so uh if anything you can use a curtain um to make it if you want to make a long altar you can use like um you know like a table wise you want to use a curtain use a curtain why not your altar um blanket sheet anything that really helps give that pizzazz like you like because trust me might look might look a little funky when you like making it but like it come together if you really got the imagery when you start messing around with stuff you'll see how it plays out uh another thing about building your altar on a budget picture frames um looking at my notebook as usual picture frames cheap family dollar once again um you get some cheap uh picture frames or the facebook market as well like I said, cleanse and all that good stuff. Another thing you can get also building an altar on a budget is um, just a regular cup, regular glass cup um, for the ancestors, for your ancestors or the divine to be able to um, get them water and also a plate that you can also get. You can get that for family dollar. Also, Halloween is coming up. Take advantage, witchies, okay? Y'all know Halloween is prime. They're already putting stuff up for Halloween right now in Dollar Tree. And that's where I've been at. So Dollar Tree is definitely the place to get all that stuff. If you want to make an altar now, from here to the end of um, Halloween, a little bit after Halloween, you know, when they still keep the stuff out, start doing a little sale, um, get that too. Also, altars are built in due time, even if you're like adding stuff on. Another thing you can get for your altar is candles. I use tea light, tree light, whatever you call them, those little tin candles. I use those. So, um, and those come from Dollar Tree as well. I know, so crazy, right? So easy. Because I'm not about to go broke. And I don't think my ancestors want me to go broke. I got to give them something too. Now, when it comes down to the anointing oils, or um, oils, if you would like to add some, I have some anointing oil on my altar. Uh, I went to Etsy to get me some anointing oil. Um, or you can get Florida water. I'm going to get that as well, to be honest. I just want the whole combo shebang going on here. Anointing oil is used for, you know, to cleanse um, your body, especially if you're following by the Sacred Woman book like I am. Um, that's like almost like your Bible. You'll know that you have to anoint yourself before coming into the altar, uh, all that good stuff. Anointing oil does not cost that much. You also can make your own if you would like to. I haven't done that. But... You can make your own anointing oil if you would like to as well. And your altar even go cheaper. It's really all earth. Another thing we like to add if you want to is crystals. Um, Of course, I definitely added some crystals up here. Like, crystals is made of love. You know, let them know. It's all love and light over here to my to my ancestors, you know. Um, crystals such as green adventurine, uh, rose quartz. Um, uh, God desert rose or something like that i have up there i mean i'm mean, thinking about rose quartz too much i have clear quartz and i have citrine up there as well and i have jasper and um to really balance me out those are my main crystals that i brought to the table for them and that's definitely some quick little things to um make an altar on a budget definitely save you a lot of money coupon 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 clip your coupons all that good stuff and even if, even if you want to add a tapestry to your altar now this tapestry i done had it for about two years just about now maybe going on three and i felt like it compliments well with what i have going on here so um and i'm gonna get another one for this wall here too we're just gonna fill it with tapestries really make it a real good thing especially if you're making like a full prayer room too you know you know you know really that's you know altering a budget so i hope you guys um like i know it was a quick video um, like I said, October predictions will be up this uh, week or this weekend. So please be looking out for that. And, you know, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.